let's get clear what works for acne and what treatment doesn't work. So what works? For that, let's understand how acne happens. There are four stages. There's increased oil production, there is pore obstruction, there is bacterial overgrowth, and there is finally the cascade of inflammation. So we'll talk about medicines helping in each step. When we're talking about decreasing oil uh, production, there is of course retinoid, salicylic acid, niacinamide, which helps. When we're talking about pore obstruction, so products like uh, retinoids again, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, they help. When we are talking about inhibiting the bacterial uh, overgrowth, there's of course benzoyl peroxide, there's narifloxacin, dabsone, clindamycin, which help. Finally, to control the inflammation, there is niacinamide and retinoids. So as we see, out of these four steps, three steps are taken care of by retinoids. So they are an important molecule when you are uh, going to treat acne. Of course, uh, if these don't work, your dermatologist will prescribe you oral antibiotics oral isotretinoin if there's a hormonal component to it you will be probably given myoinositol or uh, spironolactone oral contraceptive pills with anti uh, anti-androgenic effects there are procedures like blue light therapy medical peels uh, which also help so when you're choosing your anti-acne medication make sure one of these anti-acne ingredients is there in the regime it could be retinoids it could be a salicylic acid azelaic acid or benzoyl peroxide